Helen Cooper. That's right. Pumpkin Soup by Helen Cooper. Let's see what this book's all about, Apollo, shall we? Pumpkin Soup. Well, the artist is pretty good. Very nice artwork. What do you think, Apollo? Do you like the artwork in Pumpkin Soup so far? Yeah. Yeah. Ladle and a soup bowl. All right, here we go. Page one. Deep in the woods, there's an old white cabin with pumpkins in the garden. There's a good smell of soup, and at night, with luck, you might see a bagpiping cat through the window, and a squirrel with a banjo, and a small duck singing. Yeah, right there. That would be an interesting sight to find in the woods indeed. Pumpkin soup, the best you ever tasted, made by the cat who slices up the pumpkin, made by the squirrel who stirs in the water, made by the duck who scoops up a pipkin of salt and tips in just enough. Yeah, right here, the three of them making pumpkin soup. They slurp their soup and play their song, then pop off to bed in a quilt stitched together by the cat, embroidered by the squirrel, and filled with fine feathers from the duck. And it's peaceful in the old white cabin. Everyone has his own job to do. Everyone is happy, or so it seems. Hmm. I wonder why they're not going to be happy, it says. But one morning, the duck woke up early. He tiptoed into the kitchen and smiled at the squirrel's special spoon. Wouldn't it be fine, he murmured, if I could be the head cook? He drew up a stool, hopped on top, and reached until his beak just touched the tip of the spoon. Kerplunk! Down it clattered. Then the duck trotted back to the bedroom, held up the spoon, and said, Today, it is my turn to stir the soup. Uh-oh, the duck is creating waves. That's mine, squeaked the squirrel. Stirring is my job. Give that back. You're much too small, snapped the cat. We'll cook the way we always have. But the duck held on tight. Until the squirrel tugged with all his might. And whoops, the spoon spun through the air and bopped the cat on the head. Talk. Then there was trouble, a horrible squabble, a row, a racket, a rumpus in the old white cabin. Who do you think would win this Scrabble? The cat, because he could just... Oh, use his claws? Yeah. Quite possibly. I'm not staying here, wailed the duck. You never let me help with anything. And he packed up a wheelbarrow, put on his hat, and waddled away. You'll be back, stormed the cat, after we've cleaned up. And the squirrel shook his spoon in the air, but the duck didn't come back. Not for breakfast, not even for lunch. I'll find him, scoffed the cat. He'll be hiding just outside. I bet he's in the pumpkin patch. But the duck was not in the pumpkin patch. They could not find him anywhere. So they waited all that long afternoon. The cat watched the door. The squirrel paced the floor. The duck will be sorry when he comes home, they muttered. But the duck didn't come home. Not even at soup time. Oh, do you think he, they're starting to miss their friend? Paulo? Yeah. Yeah. The soup wasn't tasty. They made it too salty. Why do you think they made it too salty? Because of the duck. He wasn't there to put the salt in like he always does. 
They didn't feel hungry anyway. They both sobbed over supper, and their tears dripped into the soup and made it even saltier. We should have let him stir the soup, sniffled the squirrel. He was only trying to help, wept the cat. Let's go out and look for him. The cat and the squirrel, squirrel were scared as they wandered down the path in the dark, dark woods. They feared for the duck, all alone with the trees and the foxes and the wolves and the witches and the bears. But they couldn't find him anywhere. Mm. On and on they trudged until they reached the edge of a steep, steep cliff. Maybe he fell down that, wailed the cat. I'll save him, squealed the squirrel, and he scrambled down on a long, shaky rope. He searched all around on the ground, but he couldn't find duck. Mm. Then the cat whispered in a sad little voice, Duck might have found some better friends. He might, sighed the squirrel, friends who would let him help. And the more they thought about it as they plodded back, the more they were sure they were right. Look at this, they're imagining Duck opened up his own pumpkin soup restaurant that says, It was this soup made Duck famous. How does he do it? They go in thin, they come out Fat menu is pumpkin soup. Duck's kitchen. Do you think that's where Duck is, Apollo? Yeah. You think he's opened his own kitchen? You think so? Oh, well, let's find out. But when they were almost home, they saw light shining from the old white cabin. Do you think Duck has opened his own restaurant now? He closed it for the night. Or did he close it for the night, or did he just go back to the cabin? He decided that he wanted to close his kitchen and catch Oh, okay, maybe. It's Duck! They shrieked as they burst through the door, and the duck was so happy to see them. He was also very hungry, and though it was late, they thought they would all make... What, Apollo? Pumpkin soup. Some pumpkin soup. When the duck stirred, the cat and the squirrel didn't say a word. Not even when the duck stirred the soup so fast that it slopped right out of the pot. Not even when the pot got burnt. Then the duck showed the squirrel how to measure out the salt. And the soup was still the best you ever tasted. So once again, it was peaceful in the old white cabin, until Duck said, I think I'll play the bagpipes now. Uh-oh, he wants to play somebody else's instrument. And they all started fighting over the bagpipes. That's not really how bagpipes sound. Do you know how bagpipes sound, Apollo? <laughs> I'm guessing what the duck, how the it would sound with, with when the duck would play it. Yeah, probably like that. Yeah, it would sound terrible. <laughs> probably. Ready to say adios to the internet? Yep. Adios. adios!